In the first video on ecology terminology, we looked at the following terms. In this video, we are going to look at a food chain and the different roles within it. A food chain shows the sequence of organisms in a habitat that are dependent on the one before as a source of food. In our woodland, one food chain would be grass at the bottom, which is eaten by the rabbits, which are then eaten by the foxes. The arrows represent the energy flow through the chain, and there are lots of other food chains within the woodland, such as this one. A food web shows all of the interconnected food chains in an ecosystem and are much more complex. In every food chain, there are trophic levels. All organisms in a particular trophic level transfer the same amount of energy away from the producers, or base of the food chain. So in our woodland, we have energy transferred from grass to crickets to frogs, and from grass to caterpillars to blackbirds. The caterpillar and the cricket are at the same trophic level, just as the frog and the blackbird are also at the same trophic level. At the base of the food chain are producers. Producers are autotrophs. This means that they are able to manufacture their own food, just like how plants do this by photosynthesis. Then they are primary consumers. These are the second organisms in the food chain, in the second trophic levels. These consume producers and are nearly all herbivores. They only feed on plants. Then they are secondary consumers. These are either carnivores, so they only feed on other animals, or like the mouse, they could be omnivores. They eat a variety of plants and animals. Most humans are omnivores. We eat meat, but we also eat vegetables and grains. Or they can just be insectivores, like the ladybird and frog, which only feed on insects, worms, and other invertebrates. So there we have a food web, food chains, trophic levels, producers, consumers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, insectivores, and so the final piece of the puzzle are decomposers. Decomposers break down dead plants and animals and waste and return nutrients back to the soil. Decomposers are very important for an ecosystem. If they weren't there, the plants would not get essential nutrients and dead matter and waste would pile up. Many kinds of decomposers are microscopic, meaning you need a microscope to see them. Like bacteria, others like fungi can be seen with the naked eye. So there is our key ecology terminology, which you will come across in more detail in future videos.